Hi guys, Sam here from Adreno. Uh, today we're going to talk about the differences between an open cell wetsuit versus a lined wetsuit. Okay, so what it means to have an open cell wetsuit, basically that is, it's just the bare neoprene on the inside of the suit, so it hasn't been lined with anything. Whereas your, your lined wetsuits, as you can see here, they've actually got a, a nylon lining on the inside and it, as well as the outside. Now one of the benefits of your open cell suit, you know, this is the more traditional style spearfishing wetsuit that we see, is that once you've donned this suit, it's going to seal the water out really well. And that's because this open cell is really sticky. So even if the suit's slightly big, doesn't fit quite right, it's still going to have a really good seal. The other benefit to open cell suits, if you've got a stiffer outside lining, and if you put two linings on, so one on the outside, one on the inside, that's gonna make the suit really stiff. So only having one layer of the lining should keep the suit more flexible. So one of the big disadvantages you have with an open cell wetsuit, the material is really sticky, so you're gonna have to use soapy water or at least water to get it on. The other big disadvantage being it's very fragile, so fingernails when you're putting it on or taking it off, it will tear very easy. It is repairable, but it does break easily. One thing you've got to be really cautious of with your open cell wetsuits is to make sure you use a wetsuit wash after each use. The pores in the neoprene are really good, good homes for bacteria. So that combined with the moist environment and then like heat where people often store the wetsuits, um, next time you go to use the suit, you put it on, you're going to break out in a rash. So make sure you use your wetsuit wash every, every use with your open cell wetsuits. So with the lined wetsuit, you don't need any lube to get it on. Uh, with this suit, you'll notice there's actually some glide skin seals at the extremities. So it's the same with the legs as well. That's actually glide skin on the inside. And that is to help seal the suit up without having to use soapy water to get it on. So big benefit there. It's also going to be much more durable with taking it on and off. And the disadvantage with the stretch that I talked about on this one is then combated by using uh, super stretch linings. So if you've got a super stretch lining on the inside and out, you can still keep most of the flexibility. The suit's still very flexible. So if you're diving water to typically below say 18 degrees Celsius, you're probably going to be better off sticking to a, an open cell wetsuit just in case the fit's not quite right for you. I think anything above that, my preference now is generally for a lined wetsuit and they're becoming more and more available like each year. But typically in the past, 90% of our suits are open cell. Now I've probably got like a 70-30 balance. So there's plenty of options to choose from in the lined wetsuits. So thanks for joining us today on differences between open cell and lined wetsuits. Thanks for watching guys. If you'd like to see more, we have loads of content on our YouTube channel, so be sure to check it out. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to check out our stores. Or you can shop online at www.spearfishing.com.au.